Austin Healy was a British sports car maker established in 1952 through a joint venture between the Austin division of the British Motor Corporation, BMC, and the Donald Healy Motor Company, Healy, a renowned automotive engineering and design firm. Leonard Lord represented BMC and Donald Healy his firm. BMC merged with Jaguar Cars in 1966 to form British Motor Holdings, BMH. Donald Healy left BMH in 1968 when it merged into British Leyland. Healy then joined Jensen Motors, which had been making bodies for the Big Healys since their inception in 1952, and became their chairman in 1972. Austin Healy cars were produced until 1972 when the 20-year agreement between Healy and Austin came to an end. The Austin Healy 100 is a sports car that was built by Austin Healy from 1953 until 1956. Healy had Tickford build a single Healy 100 for the 1952 London Motor Show, and the design impressed Leonard Lord, managing director of Austin, who was looking for a replacement for the unsuccessful A90. Body styling was by Jerry Coker, the chassis was designed by Barry Bilby with longitudinal members and cross bracing producing a comparatively stiff structure upon which to mount the body, innovatively welding the front bulkhead to the frame for additional strength. In order to keep the overall vehicle height low the rear axle was underslung, the chassis frame passing under the rear axle assembly. Lord struck a deal with Healy to build it in quantity. Bodies made by Jensen Motors were given Austin mechanical components at Austin's Longbridge plant. The car was renamed the Austin Healy 100. The 100 was named by Healy for the car's ability to reach 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour. Its successor, the better known Austin Healy 3000, was named for the almost 3000 cc displacement of its engine. Apart from the first 20 cars, production Austin Healey 100s were finished at Austin's Longbridge plant alongside the A90 and based on fully trimmed and painted body, chassis units produced by Jensen in West Bromwich, in an arrangement the two companies previously had explored with the Austin A40 Sports. 14,634 Austin Healey 100s were produced. The 100 was the first of three models later called the Big Healy's to distinguish them from the much smaller Austin Healy Sprite. The Big Healy's are often referred to by their three character model designators rather than by their models, as the model names do not reflect the mechanical differences and similarities well. The first 100s, series, BN1, were equipped with the same undersquare 87.3mm, 3.4 in, bore and 111.1 mm, 4.4 in, stroke 90 bhp, 67 kilowatts, 2660 cc i4 engines and manual transmission as the standard production A90, but the transmission was modified to be a three-speed unit with overdrive on second and top. Girling 11 in, 279.4 mm, drum brakes were fitted all round, the suspension used modified Austin A90 components in order to be as cost-effective as possible, steering was by Austin's worm and peg system. Front suspension was independent, double wishbone using coil springs and at the rear a rigid axle with semi-elliptic leaf springs. A BN1 tested by the Motor Magazine in 1953 had a top speed of 106 miles per hour, 171 kilometers per hour, and could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, in 11.2 seconds. A fuel consumption of 22.5 miles per imperial gallon, 12.6 L, 100 kilometers, 18.7 mpg, was recorded. The test car cost £1,063 including taxes. A total of 10,030 BN1S were built from May 1953 until replaced by the BN2 model in August 1955. Is on permanent display in the Bonneville Salt Flats exhibit at the Simeon Foundation Automotive Museum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. The BN2 was fitted with a real four-speed manual transmission, still with overdrive on the top two gears. Other features that distinguish the BN2 from the BN1 are the slightly larger front wheel arches, 
different rear axle and being the first 100 with optional two-tone paint. The BN2 was available initially in Carmine Red which was replaced with Reno Red, Spruce Green, Healy Blue, Florida Green, Old English White, Black, and approximately 50 gunmetal gray cars. Two-tone options were, White, Black, Reno Red, Black, Healy Blue, White, Black, Reno Red, and Florida Green, White. By January 1956 production was running at 200 cars each month and sales in California 150 cars each month. The final BN2 was built in July 1956, with a total of 4,604 BN2s produced, including the 100M. Many BN2 and 100M Austin Healy's compete in vintage events like the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix. A high-performance 100M model was introduced in 1955 with larger carburetors, a cold air box to increase engine airflow, high lift camshaft and eight one-to-one -one compression pistons. It produced 110 bhp, 82 kilowatts, at 4,500 revolutions per minute. Approximately 70% of 100 megaseconds were finished with a two-tone paint scheme, including one white over red and another in black over pink for display at the 1955 London Motor Show. The 100M components, including the high compression pistons, were also available as the Le Mans engine modification kit, which could be installed in either a BN1 or BN2 with the engine in situ improving the power output to approximately 100 bhp 75 kilowatts at 4500 revolutions per minute the kit could be ordered from bmc allowing private owners to make their own modifications there are several categories of cars to distinguish between the factory produced cars and others built primarily for racing the aluminium bodied 100s for sebring model developed 132 bhp 98 kilowatts at 4700 revolutions per minute dunlop disc brakes were used all round the world's first production car to feature them both front and rear to further lighten the vehicle bumpers and hood convertible top were eliminated the grille reduced in size and the windscreen made of plastic in all Weight was reduced by approximately 200 pounds, 91 kilograms. The majority of 100 SS were two-toned white with labelia blue sides. A handful were produced in solid spruce green and red, and a single one in black. An unrestored works racing team 1953 Austin Healey 100S special test car that had been campaigned by factory drivers Lance Macklin, Gordon Wilkins and Marcel Beckwart sold for a world record £843,000, $1,323,915, the 1st of December 2011, at Bonham's December sale. Driver David Shale raced an Austin Healey 100S. It is known that Shale gained at least 13 podium finishes in the car, coming first in four of those races. EVV, as the car is colloquially known, sold for £673,500 at the Bonhams Goodwood Festival of Speed Auction on 27 June 2014. The Austin Healey 100 in BN1 and BN2 models, four-cylinder format has done very well in vintage racing. The standard BN2 can produce 90 bhp, and could exceed 100 miles per hour hence the 100, however in 100m spec, see above, the larger carburetors, high lift cam and slightly less dished pistons, higher compression, the car can produce up to 110 bhp. Some simple modifications, lightening, by removal of the bumpers, interior trim and carpets, the 100 can be quite nimble on racing circuits around the world. Aluminum alloy wheels will accommodate wider and lower profile tires that can lower the center of gravity providing additional stability in corners. Alloy wheels become almost essential as the performance of the car increases and the old wire wheels especially the original 48 spoke wheels become a weak point in the structure. The performance of the Austin Healey 100 should be measured by distance rather than by speed. It is, of course, a fast car capable of more than 100 miles per hour.
and with vivid acceleration. But it is more a fast tourer than a competitive sports car. It is a comfortable means of swift, safe transport and a delight to drive. On normal English roads, even when the traffic is heavy, it will travel 50 miles in an hour with no strain on its driver. Great English sports car, 